Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'll be creating a, a page for the actual form that the visitors will fill out. So let's see. I'm gonna run the application just to see where we're at. So here's our job box, we have a login page, and apply now, which is not really linked to anything. So I'm gonna open up the Sublime Editor, and I'm gonna create a route for apply, so that the visitors are taken somewhere when they click that apply button. I'm going to replace this with a render template. I'm going to be creating a new application.html file. I'm going to save that. So we have this error, there's a, we're overriding this. I'll give it its own name. Alright, so now I'll be creating that template for the application. I'll create a new file. And on my left side, I'm going to open up the base.html. So we see the, the name of the block that we need to implement is content, block content. And we've got to place a closing, an end block tag here. And since this template will be extending our base template, we need to we need to state that here extends base.html and for the actual content I will place this in a div with a class equals container container is a class that is part of the bootstrap framework inside here I will create a row Row. And inside of that, I'll create a column. Class equals column small 12. And the column small 12 will apply to any of the larger sizes as well. So now I am able to, I'm, I'm going to create the form in here. The method is going to be post and the action is going to be the URL for apply. So it'll submit the form data, it'll submit this form into this route here. So let me close the form tag. And in order for this to work, I'm going to have to to specify that this apply route should be able to receive post requests. By, by default, the routes are able to receive a get request, but since I'm going to be submitting a form to this, I'm going to specify that it should receive post requests from the form. I'm going to save that as application.html. And now I'm going to go to the index.html and create an href for the anchor tag. And we want the the user to be able to reach the apply function when they click on apply now. So let's, let's see that in action. We'll refresh this and we click apply now. Now I see there's an error here. Extra here. 
So we, we don't see anything. I'm gonna create a legend tag here. And we have a, a legend tag. And we're going to create a form that has a name field, an email field, and a file upload field. So for that, I will be installing WT Forms. Okay, I've already installed that and I'll be installing Flask WT. Okay, I already have Flask WT. So I'll be creating a new file in our app folder. And this file is going to be called forms.py. Here we're going to Im be importing the WT Forms framework. The WT Forms will allow us to, to create a form that we can render inside, our, inside of our HTML. So we've installed it as an extension here from Flask WTF. So Flask extension WT import form. And then we're gonna we're gonna be working with text fields. So from WT import text field and file file field and a submit field. And we're gonna define our form here. Class, we're gonna call it application form. We're gonna subclass from form that we imported up here. And we're gonna specify the fields that are gonna be part of this form. The first one I will have will have first name. And that's gonna be a text field. The first parameter that I'm gonna pass in here is gonna be the label. I'm gonna Duplicate that. The second one is going to be called last name. Last name. And I think I'll have an email field here. Hi everyone. So where was I? Oh yeah, I was creating a, the fields here. I'm going to create one called submit equals submit field. Yeah, I had to put the, the recording on pause to get some food. But I'm back. <clears throat> and and I'm at it again. Submit field. Right, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go back to my init. And <clears throat> in our uh, apply route, I'm gonna create a form object of the type application form and we're gonna have to import our application from form from our forms module import application form I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna run my my app so no module name WTF I think it's WT Forms. Let's see. Okay, looks like I was right. <clears throat> so uh, I'm creating a form here, and I'm gonna pass this form object to our render template function. What that will allow me to do is render the form in our application.html file. So I will create a, um, for example, I'll place form dot first name. I'm gonna save that and if I visit the app apply endpoint, I should have a field. Let's 
provide secret key. Okay, so there's one thing I have to do is I gotta configure my flask app with a with a secret key. So I will define that here. Secret key equals our secret key. <clears throat> and while I'm here already, I think I have to do another one for uh, CSRF session key. So let's try that. All right, so we ha we have a field here. Now we have we have this if we if we look at the element it says his first name <clears throat> but we're gonna need to render all of the fields and we also want them to have labels we want it to say first name last name and then the submit button what I'm gonna do is create a macro to render the fields I'm gonna call this macro render field I don't have to use that end macro now I want every field to have a label and we're gonna pass the actual field to, to this function here the label will have the field dot label as its content and then we will render the actual field and the class we're gonna pass a class to it I'm gonna call it form and I'm gonna engulf this in a div whose class is is uh, form group and now here see what fields we need to render first name last name email <clears throat> and our email oh we need a file field call that one resume save Yes, I'm recording. And finally, we want to have a submit button. So let's see how that looks. No email name. Oh. So we have now a first name, last name, first name, uh, this should say email. So we have to change this here, email. There we go, resume, apply. So we probably don't need a label for apply. <clears throat> can actually have like a some logic here if field dot label apply does not equal apply and we 
do want to render that label. So it looks like we're running two things in here. We have a label inside a label. So what we can actually do is remove this. So that looks better. We still have that apply there. Okay, so let's say this is the name. Let's say no. If the name doesn't equal submit. <clears throat> there we go. So we got rid of that extra label for apply. And we have a responsive layout. It changes its size. So I think that concludes, well, I, actually I'm going to create uh, some logic here so that if form.validate on submit return thanks for applying just so you guys can see how the submission works so I'll go to my apply now I'm gonna click apply I guess there's something on here I have to pass the request form I'm gonna be importing the request object <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look at my template. So what I think is happening is we we specified a C CSRF key, but we're not giving it to our HTML. CSRF let's check that out. Click apply. Thanks for applying. So on our next video, I will be creating a database onto which our form applications can be saved. I'll be defining a database model and I'll be using SQL Alchemy for all of our, uh, to, to interface with the database. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.